What's going on you guys? Today I have a HIIT cardio and mobility infused workout for you. You don't need any equipment except for maybe an exercise mat. Make sure you've got some space to kind of stretch out and move around today. And like I said, exercise mat or a soft surface. Our format is 30 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. We're gonna be moving quickly through these exercises. We're gonna go from a more of a cardio focused exercise to a cardio and mobility focused exercise. All right, guys, we're gonna do a quick, brief warm up and then we're gonna get right into the workout. All right, my friends, let's start by rolling those shoulders back and down. Be dramatic about it, pull the abs in, don't let the back arch. Just try to open up through your chest. I have got my hair pulled back in the tightest bun ever today because I am refusing to deal with hair in my face during this workout. All right, we're still rolling back and down. A few more just like that. Dramatic, shrug them up. Slide the shoulder blades into your back pocket. Good, now reverse the circle so you're rolling forward this time. <clears throat> Roll it forward, be dramatic and find the foot of your mat here because we're gonna roll it down and walk it out to plank in just a second. Roll forward one more time. And here we go, roll it down. Now walk out to plank. All the way out, nice strong plank. And then walk it right back up. Roll up nice and slow, shoulder blades back and down. Again, roll it forward, walk it out to plank, take your time. And this time we're gonna add like a cobra or an upward facing dog. Find a movement that works for you. And then roll it right back up. Shoulders back and down. Beautiful. Roll it down. Walk it out. This time we're gonna bring a foot up next to the hands. Boom. Hang for a second, nice stretch. And then bring it back to plank. Walk it all the way up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Same thing on the other leg. Here we go, rolling down. Take your time. Walk it out. Opposite foot comes forward. Nice stretch. Bring it back and walk it back up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Ooh, beautiful. Go ahead. Rock it side to side for me here. Might get some pops in your hip like I just did. Just find some movement here. Don't spend too much time on each side. We're moving about every second or so. Good, now bring the arms out to the sides. Little baby circles. We're gonna get the shoulders warmed up and ready to work. Let's go ahead and speed those circles up. Shoulders are getting warm. Good, straighten the legs out. Come from one toe, walk it to the other. Up, back down, walk to the other toe. Up, back down, walk it. <clears throat> this should feel good. Walk it. Good, walk it again. Meet me in center. Heel toe, heel toe yourself, feet together, and then roll it up. Roll the shoulder blades back and down, bring it to a jog in place. We're gonna get the heart rate up to prepare us for this workout. Go ahead and roll those wrists while you're here. Just get them warm, ready for some planks, ready for some burpees. Yeah, I said it, we're doing burpees. Relax, it'll be fine. Switch jumping jacks. Stay light on your feet. Keep the abs engaged. Heart rate's coming up. Breathing rate's coming up. Let's speed up the jumping jack just a little. All right, guys. Roll the shoulders back and down, chest proud. We are ready to work out. All right, my friends, our first exercise is a doubled high knee. So we're gonna hop on one foot for two counts 
in every high knee. We're starting kind of easy breezy, but we're still not super warm yet. All right, we go in 10 seconds, so get ready, find your space. We go in eight seconds. In five, four, three, two, here we go, double it up. Bring the arms into it. We have a full 30 seconds right here. Make sure you're breathing. 20 seconds. Abs are pulled in. They are doing a lot of work here. Take that tension out of the hip flexor by really engaging the abs. 10. Five. Two. Rest. We're gonna open the hip, close it up, and then go for a nice big jump squat. Here we go. Open, close, big jump. Explosive. Open, other side, close. Again, open, close. Open, close, we got this. 10 seconds. Heart rate's coming up, right? Three. Rest. Back to the high knees. Doubled up with each hop. In three. Here we go. Breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breath. 18. Halfway. Oh my gosh, there goes my ponytail. 10. Don't stop. Five. Three. Two. Oh, remember when I said I wasn't going to be fighting with my hair? Here we go. All right, open, close. Big jump. Here we go. Open. Close. Big jump. Open. Close. Big jump. Explosive. But take your time with the hip opener. 15. 10 seconds. Five, two, rest. We've got a new circuit. Next exercise is an up and over um, ice skater here or speed skater. So instead of just staying low with the arms, we are going to come up and over with those arms to make this move as explosive as possible and just kind of mobilize through those shoulders, right? Have some fun with it. We go in 10 seconds. Be dramatic. Think modern dance. Maybe. I don't know. Five seconds. <laughs> we go in three. Here we go. More intense version means you're going to float that back foot. To make this less intense, let that toe tap the ground. Find a version that works for you today. Abs pulled in nice and tight. Almost done. Five. Three. Rest. We're coming down. We're going to do a lizard climber with a rotation. Every third climber. We rotate. Here we go. So here. Open. Hop. 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 Rotate, hop, hop, rotate. You got it? Ten more seconds. Let it feel good. Take your time with that rotation. Rest. We skate. In five. Here we go. 
big dramatic arms. Floating that back foot if you want. Big hop if you want, or you can keep it low impact. 10. Five, three, rest, back down, lizard, climber, rotation, here we go, start with that rotation, enjoy it, one, two, three, rotate, Take your time. Oh my gosh. Almost done, 10 seconds. Abs are pulled in. Rest. Moving on guys, new circuit. All right guys, next exercise is a burpee. A plain old burpee. So we will just pop it out to plank, pop it back in, jump straight up. If you need this to be low impact, you simply step out to plank and take out the jump. We got this. We go in 15 seconds. So catch your breath from that last one. That was a little intense. In 10 seconds, we burpee. In five, three, two, here we go. Out, in, jump. Find a speed that you can do for the full 30 seconds. Make sure your abs are pulled in nice and tight for that pop out, right? That's what's gonna protect your back. So pull them in. Brace yourself. And rest, we're gonna come all the way down, we're gonna press into a downward dog and pop it into a squat. If you can go into a deep squat, do it. Here we go, downward dog, plank, squat. Deep squat if you can. Back to that downward dog, squat or deep squat. My downward dog isn't the best in here. My hands are slipping. Take your time in any one of these poses. Awesome. Burpees again. In five, three, here we go. Remember your low impact version, simply stepping it out to plank and coming up to stand with no jump. 10, three, rest, downward dog, squat or deep squat. In. Three, here we go. Remember, take your time. Make that squat as deep as you can without that low back starting to round. We're almost done. Rest guys, new circuit. Next exercise is just a twisted hop. So all we're gonna do is simply stand in one place, hop the feet in the opposite direction of the upper body. So my legs and torso are going this way. I'm gonna try to twist my upper body to go in the opposite direction, right? Abs pulled in nice and tight. This is an ab exercise. As well as some calves that might be burning. Here we go in three. Here we go. 
Remember, pick a pace that you can do for the full 30 seconds. Remember to breathe, pull the abs in, they're protecting your back. 15, 10, keep going my friends. There go those calves, five, no sorry, two. I saw it backwards, all right. Turn the toes out, sink into a wide sumo squat here. We're gonna stretch to one side, stretch to the other, hop twice, here we go. Stretch, stretch, hop, one, two, good, stretch. Stretch, hop, one, two, we got this. Stretch, stretch, pull the belly button in, hop, hop, let's go this way. Stretch, stretch, hop, hop, oh my gosh. Good, twisted hops, twisted hops in six, three, <clears throat> here we go, hop. Finding that pace that is gonna work for the whole interval, breathing, abs pulled in, 15 seconds, keep going. Hello calves, five, for real that time it was five, rest, all right turn the toes out, we go sumo, reach, reach, hop, hop, in three, here we go, reach, open up through the side body, hop, hop, again, reach, Reach, center, hop, hop, reach, pull the abs in, reach, hop, hop, everything but that hop feels amazing. Two, rest, new circuit. All right, my friends, we're coming all the way down on the ground for this next one. We're gonna do a side plank, so roll into a side plank, roll back to plank, and then we're gonna do a tuck jump from there. If you can't do the tuck jump, so the tuck jump looks like this, boom, just tucking those knees to your chest. If you can't do that, you can always just hop the knees in to bear and then hop back out to plank. You do whatever version you can handle today. I do encourage you to try the hardest version if you feel comfortable with it. We go in two, here we go, roll. Side plank, back to center, boom, explode. Roll, back to center. You got this now, whoop, don't fall, Caitlin. Shoulders over wrists. I can't see the timer because it's behind the BOSU. So I wish I had good news for you. Oh, it looks like good news. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to do a, like a warrior, right? We'll reach up. We'll come back down. Hop the legs. So we're here. Stretch. Let it feel good. Down. Switch. Boom. Other side. Down. Switch. Stretch through that hip flexor. Big switch. You can always step it if you need to. That feels amazing. Beautiful. All right, we're coming back down. We've got that rolling side plank with a tuck jump. We go three. Here we go. Roll open. Big explode. Roll open. Have fun with it, guys. Did you surprise yourself? You can do hard things. We have to focus. 
focus on this one. That's why I'm being quiet. Rest. We've got that warrior with that switch of the feet. In three. <laughs> Here we go. Up. Tuck the pelvis. Stretch. Big jump. Should feel good. Should feel amazing. Find your balance. You're well over halfway. Don't fall three. Rest, my friends. We've got two circuits left. Next exercise is a standing jackknife kick burpee. So we're gonna do two kicks, and then we will pop it out to plank, pop it back up, follow it again with two kicks. I want you to think standing crunch with every kick. We got this, we'll follow that with a 90-90 get up. It's gonna feel good. We go in 10 seconds. Get ready guys. This is kind of the, well, almost the last of the hard stuff. Here we go, big kick. Kick, down, out, in. Get a nice stretch of the hamstring and then work in those abs. Almost done. You got about 10 seconds. Anyone's abs on fire? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna come down 90 degree on those feet, on those legs. Get up, get back down, roll to the other side. Yes, you are gonna have love handles. Yes, that's okay. All the rolls in the belly, pull your belly button in tight. Right, because you're crunching to roll those hips side to side, those knees. If you need to make this a little bit easier, you can put those hands back and behind you. Rest. All right, we got those burpees. Kick, kick, pop it out. In three. Here we go. Kick, kick, pop. Again. Got about 15 seconds left. Abs are pulled in. Three. Good, coming back down. 90, 90, and then stand up from the knees. You know what I mean. Here we go. Up, down. Roll it over. Remember, you can do this without the hands. Makes it a little harder. Or you can put those hands back and behind you. <clears throat> Whatever works best for you today. 10 seconds. Three. Rest. All right, stay down, we're moving on, next circuit. All right guys, last two exercises before we cool down and stretch it out even more. All right, we've got mountain climbers. So I want you to think, press through all of the fingers when you're in that plank, shoulders over wrists, and press through that, specifically that thumb and that pinky, right, pickle jars under those hands. Stay strong, abs pulled in. We mountain climber in seven seconds. You can do this slowly, driving one knee at a time, or you can run this out. Up to you. Here we go. Run it out. There is not much left to this workout, so enjoy the strenuous activity here, because there's not much left. You can do this. Claw through those hands. Abs pulled in. I can't see the timer. 
Let's hope for the best. Rest. Bring yourself to like a straddle stretch here, okay? And we're just gonna fold into it and then lean back, tuck those knees in. Lean into it, stretch. Come on back, bring the legs together, tuck one, two, open. Dive into it. Back together, one, two, out, dive. Get a little deeper each time, bring them together, tuck, tuck, oh my gosh. Dive into it. Back together, tuck, tuck. Three more seconds here. All right, back to mountain climbers. We got this, my friends. In three. Here we go. Whether you're walking them out or running them out, it's up to you. Just do your best. Claw through those hands. Make sure those shoulders are over your wrists. Pull the abs in. Come on, guys. We're almost done. All right, straddle. Let's get into it. Here we go. Now lean back, tuck, one, two, back open. Take your time in that stretch. Stretch, reach, back up, tuck, one, two. How's it going, guys? It's almost done. Three, two. Good, guys. Let's go back into that straddle and just hang out here for a minute. You can lean into it. Just relax here. Tell your Tell your body it's okay to be here and just relax. I want us to take like five deep breaths here. One more. Good, go ahead and reach on over to one side. It is okay, I know you're probably going, I have love handles or my belly is rolling. So is everybody else's. Be kind to yourself today. All right, good. Now go ahead and walk, walk, walk to the other side. Nice and slow. And hold it here on the other leg. And just breathe. Enjoy the stretch. Beautiful, now walk it back to center. Hang out there for a couple more breaths. I know the stretch is legit. Good, come all the way up. Bring those feet together. We're gonna lean forward and grab the ankles, or if you can, grab the toes. And relax into it here. We're just cooling down and stretching it out a bit. Really focus on getting at least five deep breaths here. All right, guys, now just kind of roll it up. Sit up nice and tall. Reach those hands up overhead. Sit up tall. What we're gonna do is tuck the pelvis and then round through the spine as we roll all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae, and then stretch ourselves out long here. It should feel amazing. 
let's do something fun. Let's try to get back up the same way we came down. So bring those hands straight up over your shoulders and then shoot them up to the sky as you roll up the same way you came down. If you can't get up, that is fine. <sighs> now that we're sitting up tall again, let's reach for the toes again. And then back up, roll down the same way we came up. Roll, 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 down, stretch yourself out long. Let's do that one more time, that was fun. <sighs> again, arms come just above the shoulders, engage the abs, tuck the pelvis, crunch to roll it up. <sharp inhale> nice and slow, or you can just get yourself up any way you can and just reach for those toes one more time. And then up, roll it down. Same thing as before, roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Your belly should look like a sharp pay's face and stretch it out long. Beautiful job, you guys. All right, let's grab one foot, put it over the other, reach through, stretch through the glute. You can roll around here. You can let this elbow that is next to that knee that's bent, you can use it to push that knee outward, deepen the stretch through your hips. You should feel amazing. And again, focus on five deep breaths here. Relax into the stretch. Your workout is done. You don't have to do anything else today unless you want to. All right, keeping that same leg up over top, what I'm gonna do is extend the other leg and I'm gonna let that knee fall over and I'm gonna look in the opposite direction for a nice twist on the spine. Try to keep that opposite shoulder on the ground. And again, just take your five deep breaths here in your own time. <sighs> Relax into it. Good. Straighten that leg out. Roll yourself out long again. Full body stretch. <sighs> Decompress. Try to make yourself as long as possible. Think about spreading those vertebrae out. All right, now we're going to bring the opposite foot up over top and we'll stretch through that glute, through that hip. You can use that elbow to push that knee out and just take your time here. Five deep breaths. With every exhale, relax a little deeper into the stretch. Let go of any tension you might have. Just let it go. Good, extending that leg out long, bringing that knee up, over, twist through the spine, looking in the opposite direction, and breathing. With every exhale, just like before, relax a little deeper into the stretch. Let go of everything. Beautiful job, you guys. Again, legs come out long. Stretch, full body, elongate. Good, now bring both of those legs up crisscross and then you can grab the outsides of the feet. And you can just hang here for a second, kind of roll around. Feels good, doesn't it? Now you can either bring yourself just to sit up or you can kind of have some fun here, build some momentum and then roll all the way up. And if you feel like it, roll a few more times with me. Massage the spine, massage the muscles around the spine. It kind of feels amazing, doesn't it? And again, if you can't do this, just kiss, uh, sit up on your bum and I'll meet you there in a second. All right, one last one, all the way up. We're gonna sit 
cross-legged here and then just sit up nice and tall. We are almost done, guys. Take those hands, clasp them back and behind the back, right? So you're opening up through that chest. Take some time to really focus on pulling your shoulders back and down. Now what I'm gonna do is take my hands and bring them over to one side. So now they're clasped and then they're right by my, my obliques here. And then I'm gonna look in the same direction, the same direction that my hands are on. Look over that shoulder and breathe. You can move around through the neck here. Find the uh, spot where you really need to stretch. I have really tight muscles of the neck, so this feels absolutely amazing. Just breathe here, play with it, find where you need it. Side of the neck, getting an amazing stretch. All right, good, bringing those hands back and behind, opening up through the chest one more time, straighten the arms out, still clasp behind your back, and now bring them to the opposite side, and we will look in the opposite direction. Rolling around through the head, finding where you need the stretch. Anybody else have the tightest neck muscles like me? You guys will have to let me know how this feels, because this feels amazing. Relaxing into it, guys. You did an amazing job today. All right, bring those hands back and behind one more time. And then just kind of fold yourself over. Stretch, roll around. Come back up. Release. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders back and down. Anything else you feel like adding, by, by all means, be my guest. Do what you got to do. Otherwise, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts videos here every single week. And I love you and I will see you next time.